Peace, y'all. It's your home girl, your soul sister, the queen of the ghetto gospel, Johnny Dimitri. And it is Wednesday, so y'all already know we are on another episode of Urban Grind Radio. And to the right of me, I got my favorite co-host, Mr. Rio Calix. How many how many shows we got under us now? At least like two yeah, or three, right? Uh, yeah, at this point, I don't even know if I'm yeah. yeah, Yeah, we doing good. What you got going on? A couple of little projects working on uh, production with an EP for one of our other artists right there for Urban Ground TV. That's that's Chilo, you know. Mm, and uh, sure. I got a show coming up in a couple of days. I'm excited about. It. I've been working with the dancers, sure. so. For sure. How was your day today? How do you feel mentally and spiritually mm. and all that stuff? How Honestly, are you? My day was good. My day was good. It was a lot of practicing and. A little bit of working, you know, make you sit a little bread on the side. So for sure, good, you know? for sure. Well, to the left of me, and I guess to the left of you as well, as we well. have a very, very special guest, Miss Giselle. And look, I'm not into introductions at all, but I got to say she is singer, songwriter. So you know this is somebody that we're going to have a good time with today. Mm-hmm. Introduce yourself, Mama. Hello, Let the people everyone. know about you. Hello, thanks for that introduction. For sure. Hi, um, Urban Grind Radio. It's an honor to be here. Uh, my name is Giselle. I'm a singer, songwriter, musician, uh, actress, and a host of other things, <laughs> and mother from Chicago, Illinois. And I'm just happy to be here. And um, I want to shout out I Said It for um, bringing me here as well. So for sure. Looking forward to speaking with you all for sure so i kind of actually just want to jump right into it because you know this this is my lane so i'm gonna keep it very very cliche Mm -hmm. how long have you been singing how did you start singing where did it come from I have been singing since, as you know, for as far as I can remember. I do recall that I wrote my first song when I was five years old, mm-hmm. and I've always been arranging music, you know, harmonies. Um, I'm also a classical guitarist. I started playing at 11. I'm a little rusty, but I'm in there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, music, so since as far as I can remember. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Classical guitar. So yeah. you've got classical training in guitar then. Yes. I went to the uh, Merritt School of Music, which used to be in the Fort Dearborn Center downtown. Mm-hmm. And then I also trained with um, John Taylor Jr., who um, back in his day, he played on a couple things like Beverly Hill Cops. Like he was a session player. So um, he, he trained me in the R&B-ish lane, you know. Yeah. But I was classically trained. <laughs> yeah, no, back, back in... Uh, mm-hmm. In high school, throughout high school, I did a lot of classical training there. Oh. We did kind of like a double major thing almost wow, for high okay. school. But Marriott was like the school to get into at that time. Oh. It was like if you got accepted in, then you were celebrated at that wow. high school, you know. Mm-hmm. It's like almost prestigious. Mm. So I want to know a bit about the genre of music that you actually do. I know that obviously you have experience in classical music, which is dope as hell, and obviously R and B. So what would you classify the the music that you do, the the music that you write, you know, that you sing, you perform? Well, that's the thing. I can't really. I'm one of those people that doesn't believe in an artist boxing themselves mm-hmm. in, especially when you're a songwriter like me because um and i have like a you know wide range of music that i do listen to and that i grew Mm -hmm. up on so i don't just write one thing but it but i do um do Mm -hmm. r&b um urban contemporary um inspirational soul so if i had to like sum myself up if i had to but i don't (laughs) Uh, people do say i have like a Beyonce tone. Okay. Okay, so I have like a that and then um but I take it to church like Fantasia. Ooh. And then okay. on the deepness of, you know, writing like Adele. So if you like put them together, that's kinda like me. Mm. But I am Giselle at the end of the day. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. You need to. Yeah, it sounds like a, a, a triple threat. <laughs> so when it comes down to the level of spirituality I, I say this almost every show I'm a church girl everybody knows it so when it comes down to the level of spirituality I heard you mention you know taking it to church like Fantasia um, even if you don't categorize the the genre of music that you do is the the, the level of spirituality included in your writing yes and and many of them and okay. you know I write about many topics relationships and um spiritual or inspiration or I don't 
write about, you know, I don't do, well, I don't want to say that. <laughs> I don't want to offend somebody. But I do what I do. If you check me out, you'll see. But um, it's, uh, when I say take it to church, you know, I do have the, uh, my uh, church upbringing. Mm. My father used to be a pastor. He passed away um, when I was 11. Mm. But um, when I say take it to church, I'm more so meaning it like, you know, make people want to, you know, get up, you know, you feeling that power. Soul that. singing. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's respected. Mm-hmm. I definitely, um, I'm a singer as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I, I res- you. I heard you preview some. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's what's up. Thank you so much. You got table for your singers today. <laughs> Um, I resonate with all singers and I I, I like to just dive in and get all the way up in your business, you know, because honestly, it's a lot deeper than the gift for us. Mm -hmm. The gift is something that you have, you know, but sometimes you have to go through things and you have to experience things in order to deliver that gift. So when it comes down to delivering your gift, what brought you to the point to where it's like, okay, this is this is what I want to do. I I, I want to do that. What kind of experience did you have? um, Basically that brought you to your gift. That's a good question. Yeah. Very, very interesting. What brought me to my gift? I would say that, you know, because my father, he used to sing and my mother sang and we always um, had our music playing in the home, especially the, the gospels and, you know, going to church singing in like the choirs i used to be very like shy so like i didn't want people to like look at me mm-hmm. um yeah, i recently you know that. overcame like that that like shyness maybe some years ago but i'm still com- i'm confident there's a difference between shyness and confident mm-hmm. but um mm-hmm. i would say just being you know listening to music my mom and dad and being in the church and then just guess you know i guess it's within you so i, I don't mm. know if there's like a point mm. where you get brought to it because like yeah. if the gift is in you it, it's just going to come out um just all those um inspirations mm. around me like i said writing my first song at five and i've just been singing and writing and arranging ever since mm. so. Yeah, so that would all that would be basically your first creative endeavors when you wrote I, that song. That's maybe. what I can remember. Yeah. Yes, I don't know if I may have done it before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like I said, because the gift is always in you. So, of course, you yeah. know, if you're if you're like a dancer or something, you're going to be dancing at two. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. you. Uh, so I'm sure I must have been doing it. You know, did you have like re- a recollect. did you have like a super creative upbringing or like was that really not a big part of the home? Was what uh, what did you like say? creativity, singing, songwriting, yeah, yeah, my things mom, like that. Yeah, I would say, you know, because my mom used to have us watch, you know, we used to watch, like, the black and white films, like the, um, I can't remember the names, the tap dancers, you know, they was, like, hopping down the steps, mm-hmm. those famous tap steps, they was hopping over each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, um, we would watch that, and then sometimes she would take us downtown, Chicago, and we would, like, look at the ballroom dancers. So I used to choreograph dancing, too, so, like, mm-hmm. the arts, and then drawing, like, like, arts has always been important. So you draw too or is that yeah. just Yeah, I'm rusty, family? but yeah, I used to be super, super raw now. But yeah, <laughs> okay. I draw too, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you are overall just very artistic like artist, person. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So what um form of art are you more drawn to? Are you more partial to? Is it music? Well music would be the first and um you know, um definitely singing, songwriting, music. Mm-hmm. Um I don't know what I would, who I would be without it. Yeah. That was a very mm-hmm. essential part of who I am. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I know you said you play uh, a couple of instruments too, and obviously you're a singer, mm-hmm. songwriter. So ho- how involved are you instrumentally mm-hmm. to your music? Do you make your beats or do you play on the songs that you write? I have um, assisted in um, like, um, like maybe coming up with a melody or something mm-hmm. and then working with a producer to come up with it. Um, uh, many times I write the song before and then we work with the producer and they come over it. Or I just write to an instrumental. Um, like arranging the vocals, I do all that. Mm-hmm. Um, so far, everything that that is uh, my singles, um, I have written. Uh, so um, I'm very um, instrumental, very hands-on with mm-hmm. it. I'm, I'm a perfectionist. So I might be singing real raw and then I may be like, <laughs> And then I'll stop and go, I can do that better. Everybody be like, oh, the instrument be like, oh my God, that was then they play it back and I'd be like, whoa. So I'm like 
critical of myself when I'm mm. recording as well. Yeah, I really feel like the classical training you mentioned mm. has a lot to do with that because I notice oh. a lot of the perfectionists that I've met mm -hmm. like in the studio that I work with or whatever, even myself when I'm trying to work on things, mm -hmm. the most like the pickiest are usually the ones that have that classical training wow, because when they wow. hear it they know okay that note is off by just this yeah, much yeah. you know <laughs> this wasn't in key i'm not okay with that you know and those mm. imperfections to you are huge errors because that's just the culture of yeah. that kind of classical training community you know like i remember even michael jackson fun. saying like he wasn't really satisfied with a lot of his things mm -hmm. because he was a perfectionist as well yeah so. mm -hmm. that's understood for sure um, I think as artists, we are probably the hardest on ourselves yeah, yeah. because of how passionate we are um, about the art that we do. And, and people like you who are, are and I, I mean this with all due respect, but are servants of many forms of art, you know, from um, writing songs, singing songs, doing, um, what else did you say that you do? Um, I've dabbled in directing and in writing drawing, books. drawing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Drawing is what I was blanking oh, okay, on. Yeah, it was yeah. something else. But also you said that you write books and that's mm -hmm. what I wanted to get into. Where where is writing songs and writing books? So that's two forms of writing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two very different styles of writing. Definitely. How do you balance the both of them? How did first of all, how did you get started with writing novels or writing mm -hmm. books mm -hmm. and how do you balance your songwriting with your books is it connected or is it totally different or yeah. separate I would definitely say they're not connected mm -hmm. they're definitely separate mm -hmm. totally different um, I wouldn't say there would be a need to balance it because you know when mm -hmm. you when you're passionate about something or you like to do something it's just part of you you just take time to do that with me, I'm actually writing several of them simultaneously. I'm kind of, a, I'm very detail oriented, at, but I'm kind of like all over the place. So I may, when I, even when I'm writing a song, I may not finish the song in one day, like, you know, many people, and um, like writing it. And same with the novel. So writing this one, and then I'm writing that one. And um, I, just, I have a lot of ideas, and, and, and some, some, if you want them to be very, factual you have to do research so, mm -hmm. so writing a novel or a book can take longer mm -hmm. as it is taking me longer um, they're not finished yet but songs are quicker for me mm -hmm. but writing I like I've always been like words and you know um, proper grammar and you know writing has always been like important to me like my yeah. dad we used to have Bible study. I, I knew the word omnipotent at four. <laughs> <laughs> so words and yeah. pronunciation, you know, that has always been you know, important sure. to yeah. me. So I think that helps me write well as a songwriter. For sure. And, and writer. Yeah, Vocabulary. Ask, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was even going to ask, like, do you feel like writing those books has helped you with writing your music? Because I can imagine when you're researching, mm -hmm. you know, for topics on your books, like, you're gonna go through different kinds of experiences mm -hmm. historically, yeah. I'm sure. So, do you take inspiration at all from your writing, or has that no. influenced you at all? They're, yeah. they're totally like separate. Yeah. Totally yeah. separate. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I want you to tell us a bit about your uh, your writing the books. I know that we talk, you know, obviously about your music mm -hmm. and your other different arts. So, tell us a bit more about you know writing a book and how did you know you get started with that? Where you are with it? I know you said mm -hmm. you're not quite finished yes, with yes. it, um, but what kind of book is it? Like what you know? Well, I'm it? I'm actually write, writing several. Like um, there are thriller mysteries and mm. um, like my that's like kind of like my favorite genre of like. Um, film and, and books so um i would say i am almost halfway through with oh. one of them and but like i said i went on to write others simultaneously i guess that's just my mind races sometimes but i would say i'm halfway through and i and i can't wait because one of them i want to turn into a movie mm. so <laughs> i just can't wait to you know be able to you know put that art form out yeah. how long have you been writing the book um, the the one that I'm halfway done with, two years. Two years. Two years. So when do you see your projected finish on it? Probably another two years, or maybe another year. year? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. That's that's very very awesome. Um, every show. Clearly, I talk too much. Let me no, tell you something fine. about myself. 
Clearly, I talk way too much because every show Johnny comes around tapping on his wrist, telling me that I'm going over the oh. time. So we we I don't want to get into it with him this week. Okay, <laughs> maybe next week I'm feeling good right now. Okay. So tell these people before we get out of here. Tell these people what you got coming up. Now you got so much going on, and mm-hmm. I respect you. I, I like that you are so you know connected to your art mm-hmm. and every type of art. But tell these people what you have coming up next and. And where they can find you on everything that they can find you. Well, uh, my name is Giselle, and you can find me on social media at Jizzy Worldwide. That's G I Z Z Y Worldwide. And what I have coming up next, I have several shows coming up. I'm going to actually be at the Daily Center. I have some before that, but one of the uh, highlighter, uh, one of the <laughs> highlighted performances at the Daily Center, where we're. Um, highlighting like the missing women and children it's like Mm -hmm. a tribute to the missing postal worker Kiara Coles uh, from Chicago so um, that's um, 12 to 1 p.m. on Friday July 21st Um, I am currently working on my album and Mm -hmm. um, I do have a single out and a video out I got the opportunity to work with um, Ace Ron and um, Little Easy which is the, the legendary Easy es son. Mm-hmm. So um, that song is called Wavy. That's like a hip hop song. <laughs> and that video is out. And um, I'm just working on um, finishing the music video for two of my songs and to hopefully to release those during the summer. For sure, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah. Along with being a mom. So that's that's one thing that you know, always comes first. Yeah, I have three for kids. Sure. So for sure. I want to get it done. Well, big shout out to you, Miss Giselle. Y'all make sure y'all check her out on everything with everything that she has going on. I'm definitely going to tune into the music. Like, I, I'm intrigued, so I want to hear yeah. your sound. I, I definitely want to know what you got going on. It was a pleasure yeah, to I'm meet you. Here, for sure. Here. Once again, it's Wednesday, so you know we on Urban Grind. It's your home girl, your soul sister, the queen of the ghetto gospel, Johnny Dimitri, and we are out. Peace. Take care. Hey guys, this is Giselle and you're listening to Urban Grind Radio.